everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Swan and let me take you under my wing as we explore and learn about the world of Andon. For today's video, I'll quickly show you my favorite location for gathering from level 1 to level 29 and I'll also tell you why I gathered there. But Swan, you're so late, the server level cap is already at level 35 and Be I'm early for C players, okay? But before we head out gathering, we're first going to do some quests until we get all the tables and things that we need for the best gathering experience. So I'll show you images of the items that we need on the screen for you as I talk you through them. We'll first need a raw processing table, an axe, a pickaxe, some cabinets, however many you need, I'm not judging you, and a barbecue table. Obviously, axe and pickaxe, you're going to need it for collecting your logs and ores, but also your raw processing table to process everything that you have collected so that you will be able to use them in crafting or sell on the marketplace. The item to increase your daily chances is also not a pay or real world money item. It actually can be bought with silver, but it can only be used to increase your chances each day. Not to be confused with the permanent increase. So some of you hardcore gamers, yes, I see you. What are you doing here? This channel is for lazy potatoes. But welcome anyway. You guys will probably see this daily production number as a daily challenge for you. But I would just choose to see it more of a suggestion. So you guys better get used to this bar being only half full. Now let's talk about cabinets. These storage solutions will ensure your bag doesn't get full because a full bag means possibly missing out on valuable drops. After each gathering trip, process your raw materials and store them in these cabinets. This way, you'll have ample space in your bag to ensure a smooth gathering experience. Lastly, you might be thinking, why do we need a grill? That's to cook your food in, silly. You might need it depending on how intense your gathering runs get. And let me show you a trick about using this grill. So don't tell me that you've only been putting one raw meat onto this thing. Pathetic! This is the apocalypse. We want to make games and take names. But seriously, put 4 raw meats on the babi and see for yourself. It restores 10 hunger per second, and you only have to eat one dish to get those muscle wins. Nice! Okay, so we've got everything, let's go! Hurry, hurry! So this method requires you to have your homestead in its default starting location. So first, leave your homestead and head towards the back of the fenced area. You'll find some cliffs that you can easily hop down, and then you'll need to cross the river and you'll end up on this part of the riverbank. Are you still with me? Once you're here, you'll see on your minimap an absolute buffet of things that you can gather and hunt. Now there's two ways to go about this. You can easily stick around the riverbank and gather whatever you run into until you feel like you're just over it and it's time to head back home. Which you can then easily do by crossing back over this river. And there's our house! Convenience! But wait! There's another method that I prefer when I have a specific item in mind that I want to gather. For example, let's say I want to focus on gathering logs or cotton today. Also, let me just throw in a quick tip for you. If you're just gathering for gold, look at the trading house and see what is trading for a higher gold price. And you might want to focus on gathering that item for the day. So whatever it is you want to focus on, just head to the back of your homestead and cross that river again. Except this time, open your map and see this signpost over here. Our house is located here, and the signpost is located up there. And we're going to draw an imaginary line connecting these two. And then we can make a beeline towards the signpost, all while collecting our target item along the way. You will run into many nodes along this path, and don't be shy to stray away slightly. Once you reach the end of the path, which is the signpost, getting home is as simple as teleporting straight to your homestead. So why did I pick this location? Well, aside from having many nodes to collect from, I'm just lazy. And I love my home so much that when I leave, I don't want to go very far. And there you have it. Of course, when you relocate your homestead, this gathering location will no longer be practical for you exactly as it is now. But of course, you can apply the same principles that I have to make your own gathering time much easier. So, now that I've shown you my gathering spot, how about you guys? Do you have any good spots that you'd like to share too? Also, I saw some of your comments on my previous Undone videos, so let me answer some of them now. 
If you're having some trouble looking for vegetables for cooking, they can be found on the minimap as an apple icon. When you approach it, you'll either see a berry bush or this cabbage looking thing. The cabbage leaves will give you a random drop of vegetables depending on what location you're gathering from. And also, this is how you can craft antidotes and bandages straight from your bag. On your crafting tab, there will be a second tab over here with a cross symbol on it. In this page, there is first aid kit, simple bandage, and antibody. All the items that you need to craft can be purchased directly from this shop. Select however many you need to craft and then just hit craft. It's as simple as that. Hope it helps. Alright guys, I hope you found my gathering location and tips helpful for your gameplay. Now before we go, if you've enjoyed this video and want to join me on this wild journey, then hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty more exciting Undone content coming your way. And also, thank you so much for all your support. You guys are amazing. It truly means a lot to me and I've been reading all of your comments. Yes, I see them all and I wish I could reply to all of them. But unfortunately, I've got my hands so full with creating the next video for you guys. So here's the deal. If you drop a comment on the first day that I post a video, I promise I'll give it my full attention and reply to as many as I can. So be sure to drop your thoughts in early and stay tuned and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when a new video comes out. And remember, keep gathering, keep exploring, and keep having a fantastic time in Undone. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye!